Hi, Internet friends. It's Tim Schrock from Design Build Solutions bringing you a bonus tip quickly today. I'm working on this model where a um, I've got a uh, railing that intersects a wall with a large doorway. And because this is open below, this right here would be uh, would be open in the model. And how are we going to um, update and show a railing across there when the railing needs to be a wall, but I've already got the wall. So let's get right into it. I want to copy this railing style. I've already set this short railing here to have, um, I go into railing style and set the auto post to be none. So there's no corner post or half post on this railing right here. Now I already know that I want this dimension across here from the from the opening jam to this line is seven foot seven and a half. So what I'm just going to do is select this railing here and copy it and paste it onto this uh, new plan. And I'm going to set this as seven foot seven and a half. Take a quick uh, 3D view of it. And from here, I'm going to go to uh, 3D. I'm sorry, it's under Tools. Convert to Symbol. And I'm going to call this uh, an interior fixture. Or maybe, maybe I'll call it millwork. All right, so let's show the advanced options. I don't have to add it to the library, but I'm going to anyway. Uh, this is symbol name, let's call it uh, railing. I'll just call it railing for now. And I'm going to... These are the balusters. So what I did in the materials tab is I click on this, uh, select it, and then click one more time, and that highlights the name. So I know this is the balusters. I'm going to do the same thing here. Click, select, and click one more time. And this is the rails, newels. So I know what the material is the balusters and by default it's going to be this brown Hershey color and by default the railing and newels are going to be the white color. All right. And then sizing uh, is just fine. I'll leave it at that. Um, and my origin, I'll, I will play with that another day. Click OK. And so I've got this railing here in my library that I can go back and drop into the model as a piece of millwork. And so I'm going to drop that there and move this over here. And actually, I'm going to I'm just going to move it right on the edge of this wall. Drop that in there. So there it's lining up with the um, there we go. Now it's, that post lines up with this railing. Let's take a camera view. There I've got a railing inside my doorway. I hope this was helpful. I uh, was having fun playing with it. Click that like and subscribe down there. Thanks so much for watching. Take care.